friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to talk to you about my fall TBR. So I actually tried to film my fall TBR a couple of weeks ago and that didn't work out for me. But I didn't want to redo it because I actually liked the pics that I got. So I decided that I was just gonna show you what I got instead of doing the whole pick from the jar thing And I really liked the books that I ended up getting from my TBR jar I feel like it blessed me this fall. So the first book I have here is Ruling Passions. This is a bind up of the first three books in the Drake Chronicles series And this is really really old <laughs> the series is but uh, I pulled this so I'll be reading the first one. I'm really excited because it's going to bring me back into that vampire obsession that I used to have. I mean I still kind of have but not as like intense. The next one I pulled was My Arc of One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. I adore Karen M. McManus. I really love her writing. I love the way she does her thrillers. So I'm really excited to read this. I know I should have probably read it when it came out but... I'm late to everything, so what else is new? But uh, I loved One of Us is Lying, so I'm definitely excited to jump back into that world with these new set of characters and see what happens. Next book I have is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Osvedo. I've heard really, really good things about this. This is her newest book that came out this year, so I'm really excited to get to this sooner rather than later. And I don't really remember much about this. I think it's just about two girls who find out that they share the same father when he dies and it's kind of I guess about them dealing with this discovery. I'm kind of excited because I know Elizabeth Acevedo did this one in verse as well and I've never really read books in verse before so I'm excited to see if I enjoy it or not. The next one is When the Stars Lead to You by Ronnie Davis. Uh, this is a contemporary, I believe it's about this couple who like broke up and it's been like a year or so and I guess they're deciding whether they want to get back together or not. It's like maybe a second chance romance. That's kind of what I got briefly from the synopsis but I'm intrigued to see what it's about. I really hope I like it because it is a black author and I would love to find a new favorite. Next is an older, older arc. <laughs> And that is Not If I Save You First by Ali Carter. This came out in 2018. I still haven't read it. I love Ali Carter. I loved her Galaga Girl series. And I think I'm going to love this too. But I'm excited. I know it's about a girl who has to basically save the senator's son when he gets kidnapped or something like that. So I'm intrigued. I think Ali Carter does really good of writing some badass girl characters. So... Definitely excited for that. Next book I pulled was Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. I feel this is fitting because I'm really excited for her newest book, Grown, to come out. And I feel like I should at least read one of her other books as well. I know this is going to wreck me. <laughs> Just from what everybody has said, I know it's going to tear my heart apart. And I'm not ready, but I'm like slightly ready at the same time. So I'm really excited to read this and see why everybody loved it so much. So the next one I have is A Match Made in Mahandi by Nandini Bajpai. I saw this, I think it came out this year, maybe like last year. I thought it sounded super cute. It's a kind of about a girl who creates her own matchmaking service using her um, Indian culture. And I'm really excited to see how this plays out because it does really sound like a cute contemporary. The next book I pulled was If I'm Being Honest by Austin Sigmund Brogba and Emily, Emily Weberly. I really enjoyed Always Never Yours by this couple, so I'm really excited to read this one next. I know this one is also Shakespeare inspired. I think it's 
the taming of the shrew maybe i can't remember exactly i could be wrong but i am super excited to read this because i really think they write some interesting stories and some really cool characters i believe this is about like a mean girl who kind of falls out of grace or something like that i know it's something about her being mean and then she like gets kind of put in her place or something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I'm really excited to read this. The next book I have is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. So I've heard intriguing things about this book. I bought it because I knew it's like a TV show now and the actress that plays the lead in it is I like her a lot so I kind of wanted to read this before I tried to watch the TV show because it did sound interesting but I've heard a lot of people talk about this and say it was good so I decided that I wanted to give it a try as well. The next book I have which I'm slightly excited about and I probably won't be reading until the end of the season because I do want to read it closer to the release date and that is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. I, when I love this cover, like Fairy Loot did such a good job. But also, I'm really excited to get to this one because I've seen a lot of people excited for it. And I didn't really know what it was about beforehand. But after reading the synopsis, it does sound really interesting. And I'm just really excited to see another, like, black character on the cover because she's just, it's just beautiful. So I'm really intrigued and I'm definitely excited to pick this up. Next book I have is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. So this is described as a Mulan retelling but with Project Runway elements. I believe it's about a girl who wants to enter in this tailoring competition and she has to basically pretend to be a guy because it's only men are allowed to compete and it sounds really interesting and Erin from Booked and Busy said it's really good so I kind of took her word for it and I jumped and I bought it. And then the last book I have is This Is My America by Kim Johnson. I'm really excited to read this too. I think it's going to have some important commentary that is very relevant to just right now and this year. I know it's about a girl whose father is on death row and she's been trying really hard to get people to see that he didn't commit this crime they think he committed. And then her brother also gets uh, charged with the crime that he didn't commit and so she ha now has to work for both of them try to get people to see that they're like people and not just these criminals they have labeled them as all right so those are my picks for my fall tbr they all sound really interesting i really think this jar blessed me this time around because honestly i don't usually get to pick up current books <laughs> Usually I end up pulling like some really old books I've had on my shelf for a while. So I'm really, really excited to read these. <laughs> Anyways, if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.